Well, I said I wasn't going to do any plowing. Well, here I am. Yes, it is later in the afternoon, but uh, this is not good stuff here. It's gotten so wet and heavy that if anybody drives over it or if I back blade it and drive over it, it's stuck there. It's frozen right to the ground. It ain't moving anywhere. So this is just snotty crap. <laughs> I guess no other good way of doing it or saying it, but driveways that people have been driving in and out of yeah i can't scrape them down now because uh they're packed down so it's gonna be an interesting one i'm only gonna open up a few driveways because uh they have to be out or this area has to be out i guess or one person in the area there we go but i am gonna get the driveways all done in this area it's pretty much done snowing we're gonna have another inch or two overnight something like that and You've got somewhere between 8 to 12 inches right now on the ground. Depends on where you're at. And then uh, I'm going to get these. Uh, actually, I'm right here by my neighborhood. So we're in my neighborhood. So I'm going to get these few here. And then uh, I'm going to head out of town to get another one because that has to be out. Because the uh, person that is renting there, or in one of the places that rents there, um, drives a tow truck. So he's got to be able to get in and out. So i got to make sure I get all that done because never know I might need him driveway is all done and yeah it's not too bad stuff is actually pushing pretty easy even though it is uh wet and it's only a, eh, that spot when it was about a foot deep but still didn't push all that bad but every time you back up you have to push that snow off because it's sticking so that driveway wasn't too bad since gravel so it just made kind of slippery a little bit but nothing i can do about that so now I gotta go open up one more and then uh, I'm gonna call her a night just for opening this stuff up. Go home, change my clothes, go bowling, then go back home, change my clothes, and go back out flower.
and uh, welcome to the second day of the snowstorm. It's a pretty good one. We've got 12 to 14 inches of snow, something like that. All this real wet, heavy stuff. It was like 30 degrees yesterday, something like that. 33 degrees it got up to. And then overnight it dropped to like about 12 degrees. So the wet, heavy snow is not wet, heavy anymore. It's light, fluffy type like stuff. But it's, uh, it's pushing real easy. And uh, I'm scraping down to everything. I'm not getting stuck up on stuck up on anything. None of the snow is sticking anywhere. So there we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, I haven't been to bed yet. So, yeah. I'm, I think I've been awake for... Uh, I don't know, at least 24 hours, anyhow. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> Get a little uh, punchy, I guess. Just a little sleep deprivation going on, but yeah, that's plowing season. So I have uh, about six more driveways to do, plus I gotta go back and do a few uh, sidewalks because uh, I didn't want to wake the people up at three, four o'clock in the morning. So I have to go do their sidewalks, which isn't going to be too bad. I'm going to use the Toro just because uh, the snow is uh, moving so easy. So, and in some of these driveways I have to hit again that I hit yesterday because we've got another four inches of snow overnight. So, yep, nothing I can do about it. Well, I just got one of them phone calls I hate getting. It's from a previous customer that I gave up this year just because I didn't want to do that anymore. I didn't want to babysit that yard. So I give it to a buddy of mine. Well, evidently he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing and people are getting stuck and they can't get out. So it's, uh, uh, apartments, there's four uh, apartments there. It's a quadplex or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's people coming and going there all the time. And uh, so the person got stuck today. So that's not good. So I got to go over there. I don't have to go over there. I choose to go over there and see if I can straighten this mess up and uh, help my buddy out here. He may not be my buddy after the storm, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. Okay, before I get on in this property, I forgot to mention I got that straightened out in that parking lot rental apartments um, person got stuck at the end of the driveway from the city plows going through and they just put a big old pile of snow out there and the person's not from around here and they don't really know how to drive in snow so they just kind of eased into the snow pile and then they were stuck instead of just mashing on it and blasting through it so so that's all cleaned up all cleaned up for my buddy there I still got to call into him I think he's sleeping because he hasn't returned any of my phone calls or messages yet so uh, right now we're at a driveway and uh, driveway set of sidewalks I did driveway early this morning but the sidewalks I'm gonna do right now with the Toro Time Master uh, one side of the sidewalks or one side of the house the sidewalks gonna be pretty easy well easy as it's gonna be because it's a foot deep but uh, the main street or main road on the other side is gonna be tough because the snow plows went through and flung all that stuff up on the sidewalk so that one's gonna be over a foot deep and chunks of ice and snow and you name it, it's all going to be in there so um let's give this uh toro a test let's put her through its paces i guess see what it can do see if i can kill it <laughs>
throw did a pretty decent job there. A couple spots it was kind of tough going, but once you blast through that first time, then it's not too bad. It's the first initial pass through that you got to struggle with it a little bit, and then you just take like half pass or half cuts or whatever. But even though I worked at it a little bit, it's still easier than uh, unloading that big old heavy two-stage snow blower and the ramps and dealing with all that. So. Anyhow, I have uh, three more driveways to do and that uh, parking lot, and it's still snowing. It's not supposed to snow. Not supposed to be snowing. It was supposed to quit snowing at five o'clock yesterday evening, and it just has not stopped yet. So that's okay. I need to make more money, I guess. One thing I have noticed today, actually, I probably noticed it yesterday or day before, but um, with the wings on this plow and they're leading first, the edge is not catching them sidewalks where it's raised up a little bit. And uh, them things stop you really fast when you got the blade straight, come up against there and it just stops you right now and you see stars a little bit. And everything ends up on the floor. So I have not been stopped and hit anything like that to stop me at all today or yesterday, or actually though since I put them wings on, so. Yeah, that's another advantage of them wings. And I'm still liking them. Even though I've been out for a long time plowing, but you know, it's a foot of snow, that happens. So, anyhow, I am gonna stop home for lunch. Working longer than I was planning on. And then I'm gonna go out and do that parking lot. Okay, this parking lot's done and I am done. Uh, between yesterday's plowing and today's plowing, I have a total of 19 hours in this. And, that, and there was probably 10 driveways, or I don't know about 10 driveways, but five driveways for sure and one parking lot I did twice. So that's pretty good. And it's uh, normally, my first day out, I go about 17 hours because that's about all I can take, and then I'm just done. I need, need to take a break, and then I would go back out the next day and do all the sidewalks, uh, which would take me another six hours. And I did everything all today in 19 hours, so uh, that's pretty good. That was save myself four hours. And uh, like I said, I did all them other ones twice, so probably saved myself more like uh, six hours, but. Either way, I'm still getting done. And I do not have to go back out a second day, even though it's been like two days and one day, but still, it's working. And just by making a few changes, you know, the back drag edge, the wings, wings made a huge difference. And then uh, different snowblower, because that snowblower is just way, way faster than that other thing was. So, um, good investment when I made it this fall. Finally, you know, just finally did something, everything all worked together, I guess. So, uh, that's going to be it for me for today. Please uh, leave a comment, comment section, like, subscribe, uh, click the notification bell to be notified when the next video is released. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you on the next one.